40-year-old Tian Qian spent $1,800 on infant formula during her last trip to the U.S. She needed 19 suitcases to get it home to Beijing and hopes it's enough to last for a year and a half. I heard the Americans checking my luggage, she said. They were whispering, why are Chinese all so crazy? When her oldest child was a baby, she purchased a brand of Chinese infant formula that was found to be contaminated with a toxic chemical, melamine. That was in 2008, when six infants died after being fed melamine-laced milk. Last June, there was another scare when high levels of mercury were discovered in powdered milk. That's pushed many Chinese mothers to buy abroad, especially in neighboring Hong Kong. Chinese are now buying so much that Hong Kong has placed export limits on baby formula. Since April, more than a thousand people have been arrested for smuggling milk. That's more than triple the number arrested for smuggling drugs in all of last year. In one smuggling ring, Hong Kong police found more than $140,000 of milk powder. This is milk formula that people have brought yeah, for you. for me. Another Beijing mother, 29-year-old Zhang Yu, turned to her colleagues for help. She works for a Danish company, and her co-workers bring her baby formula from Europe. For the baby things, normally I, I, I'd, I'd like to choose the a safe way. The China Dairy Industry Association has conducted tests and assured Chinese that the quality of domestic baby milk powder is stable and reliable. That has not changed Zhang Yu's mind. In China, normally one family only has one child, and we just want to give him the better way. You want to give him the best quality milk yeah. you yeah. can get? Yeah. Fears about milk safety have also fueled a new online market. Overseas entrepreneurs advertise their milk shopping services. In China, the mothers we met never imagined that buying baby formula would be so difficult. Seth Doan, CBS News, Beijing.